Hello and welcome back to the next episode. Items with attribute modifiers. So we're going to make some items that change some of our attributes. So let's just get started with um, speed. Let's change our speed attribute. Um, I am going to use an item. I'm going to use sugar because everyone knows sugar makes you go fast. Apparently. Give the newest player a piece of sugar. Okay. And here is where we're going to put our attribute modifiers. Attribute modifiers, and it's a list. So we have square brackets. And in here is where I'm going to put my first attribute. If I wanted two attributes, maybe three attributes, but I'm just going to do one at a time. Keep it nice and simple. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a slot. So this will only be active when it's in the slot I'm going to pick. You can have main hand, off hand, head, chest, legs or feet. Well, you can't wear sugar, so I will pick off hand slot. And I'll put it in my off hand. Okay, and then we have an attribute name. Speech marks, speech marks, and then after the attribute name, we have name. Speech marks, speech marks. Now these two are exactly the same. Why we have to write it twice? Well, we just do. Generic movement underline speed. So I'm going to copy that. So that is the attribute name, and it is also the name. Let's pop that in there as well. Okay, I will put a link in the description to the uh, wiki page for attributes so you can go and have a look at all the attributes that are available. So it has to be in my offhand. We are affecting my generic movement speed. Uh, by what amount? By what amount are we going to affect it? So I'm going to affect it by one. Okay, and I'm going to pick an operation. How is it going to affect my base movement speed? Zero means it gets added on. So I have a base movement speed of a value and I'm going to add one to it. If I put operation one, I would multiply. And I believe two is a type of multiply as well. I would check out the wiki if you are interested in the, the details. I'm just going to add to mine. So amount one, operation zero. Now we need to give it a new UID. It's a list and it has a capital I. Then it has a semicolon. Now that is not shift colon. It's not the double dots. Make sure you get that one right. And you can pre pretty much put anything you want in here, but start low, nice and easy. So I'm going to do one, 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 one. That's going to be its UUID. The main thing to remember with these is keep each one different. Um, I'll give you a little example later of why. Okay done. Sugar in the offhand, make the movement speed, add one to it. So let's have a look at the sugar. Nothing happening here. It's in my main hand, nothing happening. Let's have a look at what it says. When in offhand, plus one speed. Okay, so let's put it in our offhand. Oh, one is quite fast, it seems. <laughs> Some of the numbers are a little bit weird. Let's take that out of there now. And let's ditch that. Let's go for something a bit more reasonable. Probably all the way down to 0 0.1. Okay, now we have some speedy sugar. Cool. So maybe you're making a, a racing map, race to the end or something. Give some people some speedy sugar. That'll make them run around a bit faster. Okay, let's do something else. Let's, what should we make next? Let's, uh, let's change the health. So that's speed. Let's do something with the health. I will give out the player, uh, I don't know, just a piece of stone will do. It could be any item. Okay, so we've got our attribute modifiers. That's a list. And inside our list, we only have one. And I will do, I'll do main hand this time. Why not? Slot. main hand okay attribute name 
comma name. Remember they're both the same. Again, this will be a generic one. Generic dot max health. Let's copy that. Copy the attribute name, pop it into name, and then we want an amount. So I believe that one heart is two, because you get half a heart for each one. So let's pick let's pick a, a high amount. Amount 40. Uh, operation. Again, we'll just do zero because we're just going to add it onto the base. And a UUID, which is a list, capital I, semi colon, not the colon. And I've just, I did one last time, so I'm just going to do two this time. If you just keep them all different, you won't get any problems. Okay. Done. Get myself one of them. Now we're not seeing any difference there. Let's try switching to game mode survival. Okay, let's put that in. Now we've got a lot more hearts. We've added 40 to our base of uh, 20. So instead of having the bottom row, which is 20 half the hearts, we now have 20 plus the 40. So we now have 30 hearts in total. So that's pretty nice. But if I take it off, I will lose the max, but I do keep the extra little bits until that wears out. As they wears out, I can't fill them back up again unless I hold my stone. Okay, so we've done a little bit of health. Um, let's do some armor. For that, we will have to switch back to creative. So we're gonna do two bits of armor. We're gonna do some well, we'll do a helmet and we'll do some boots. Okay, so give at P uh, leather helmet attribute modifiers. It's a list. We only have one entry in the list. Now, being a helmet, it would make sense that this only works when it's on my head. So, slot head, attribute name, name. Okay, and we are going to add some generic dot armor. Copy the attribute name. paste it into name okay now again like the health I think uh, the number is one gives you half a piece of armor so amount I'm gonna say eight so it should give me four four armor slots operation again we will just add let's make sure we spell things correctly and then we need our UUID which is a list I semicolon and what did we use last time we used two so let's use three 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 okay now I'm going to copy that entire command copy and I'm going to move across to boots and put it in here with boots I'm going to leave the UUID the same boots though makes a lot more sense if they're on my feet and leather leather booties there we go okay so let's get a helmet the boots worked did I not get a helmet oh <laughs> okay home copy some somehow I managed to delete that command that was rather silly. Quickly put it back in on the head, home, and it's a leather helmet. The important thing noting is we've got the UUID the same for both of these. Okay, let's go back to survival. Now, I put my leather boots on. 
I have four. Four armor slots, because you get half for each number, and we said eight. Eight divided by two is four. And now I'll put my helmet on. I've still only got four. And it doesn't matter what order I put them on. Helmet on first, four. Still four. Now the problem here is the UUIDs are the same. I'm going to clear my inventory to get rid of those old ones. And all I'm going to do is pop into the boots and just change. So they're not the same number. So helmet now has a UUID of 3333. Three, three, three. Boots are now 4444. Four, four. Okay, back to survival. Now I put my helmet on, we've got four. And if I put the boots on afterwards, we've got eight. So that is one of the problems. If the modifiers have the same UUID, they seem to overwrite each other. So just make sure it's a different number for each one and you've got no problem there. Let's make one more thing. Creative. Now I know there are some people who like to be able to kill mobs in the old fighting style. So let's make ourselves a sword which we can spam click with. Okay, give at P, I'm going to pick an iron sword. Attribute modifiers. It's a list. I'm going to have two this time. I'm going to have one, two. Okay, but what I'm going to do is just remove that one for the moment. And let's just work on the first one. So sword, well, you use it when it's in your main hand. So slot, main hand, that makes sense. Attribute name, attribute name, make sure you spell things right. And name, remember these are the same. So this one we are going to affect the generic dot attack underline speed copy that copy and put it into the name by what amount are we going to affect the speed oh I'm going to affect the speed by quite a lot because I just want to be able to spam click this sword 100 okay Operation zero, we're just going to add that to the base speed of the sword. UUID, it's a list, it has a capital I, semicolon. And what number did we lose last time? I think it was one, two, three, and four. So this will be five, 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 five. Okay, so what are we missing here? Amount 100, operation 0, UUID looks good. Have we got a mistake just there? There we go. We had a semicolon instead of a normal number. Okay, so we've got one attribute. Now let's add another one as well. Okay, so that should go in here. So let's do slot. Again, it's the sword, so it works when it's in your main hand. Attribute name. Leave it blank for now. Name. Leave it blank for now. Let's go back. This time we are going to do generic dot attack underline damage. Copy the attribute name, paste it into name. Okay, after there, we'll need an amount. Mm, let's put about eight. Operation zero, UUID, the list, it's a capital I and a semicolon. I think last time, did we do, did we just do five? I can't remember. Let's do six. We haven't done that one. Done. Let's press that button. 
let's have a look at that sword. When in main hand, zero attack damage plus 100 attack speed. Okay, so we shouldn't really even get a slowdown bar. Let's time set. What's night time? Is it 12,000? Well, no, that's certainly not night time. 18,000. Oh, now we've got some stuff. Right. We should just be able to spam. Yeah, we've got no slowdown on the weapon at all. We can just spam as much as we like. Old style fighting. Okay. Let's go back to day. It's a strange light over there. Time set. 6,000. Okay, so we've made some sugar that speeds you up. We've made a stone that gives you a lot more health. We've made leather helmet and leather boots, which have stackable super armor values. And we have a sword, which we can spam click and do lots of damage with. I think it's probably the same. Eight attack damage, probably about the same as a netherite sword or diamond. So that, nice and simply, is how we make a few items and change the attribute modifiers on them. As I say, they will put a link to the wiki down in the description. So if you want to learn a bit more about it, a bit more details, then you can look in there. This is just a simple little overview so you can uh, at least get started making some stuff. Right. See you later. Bye.